What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, y'all be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and if you want to have me hop on the panel or if you want to collaborate with me, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Also, follow me on Twitter at koboxing86tv is the Twitter handle. Um, but without further ado, let's get it popping. Let's get into today's video. And it's fight breakdown and fight prediction time. And we got another world title fight, bro. This is our third world title fight of the week already. And we ain't broke down the big one yet, bro. But this one, man, we got a flyweight, 112-pound division championship fight. The WBC title is on the line, bro. We got Julio Cesar Martinez versus McWilliams. Arroyo, before we get to it, live show tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, Wednesday. Wednesday night, tomorrow night, we doing a live show. We opening up the panel. I need my Terrence Crawford fans to come through. I need my Sean Porter supporters to come through because we doing a live breakdown and prediction of the Terrence Crawford-Sean Porter fight. I want to know who y'all picking. I'm going to tell you who I'm picking. We going to stand on our square and we going to see... What happens on Saturday night? Now, um, and also the live show Sunday to recap everything. So we're going we gonna to predict it on Wednesday. Then on Sunday, we're going to react to it, bro. Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Time, me and the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network. That's what we're going to do on Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Y'all come through and hang out with us. Fun morning of boxing talk. But here we go, bro. Here we go. Julio Cesar Martinez versus McWilliams Arroyo. Look, man. Tell of the tape, Julio Cesar Martinez is a minus fourteen fifty, so minus one thousand four hundred and fifty favorite. McWilliams Arroyo is a plus seven eighty, and that's saying something because McWilliams Arroyo is very experienced, been in there with Chocolate Tito, been in there with a lot of good fighters, man, and held his own. Never been stopped before. Um, but Martinez, eighteen wins, only one loss. His one loss was his very first fight of his career. He's been on an eighteen win, uh, eighteen win winning streak since then. And of his 18 victories, he got 14 knockouts, including knocking out 11 of his last 12 opponents, bro. McWilliams Arroyo, 21 wins, 4 losses, 16 knockouts. Um, Martinez is out of Mexico, orthodox fighter, 5'2", 64 inch reach, 26 years old. Arroyo is 35 years old, 5'4", 64 inch reach, so the reach is the same. He's an orthodox fighter as well. He's fighting out of Puerto Rico. So we got that Mexico... Puerto Rican rivalry. Bro, this fight is going to be lit. Listen, man, y'all, bro, y'all got to start watching these little dudes fight, man. And I can tell a lot of y'all don't watch them because I can tell by my views on my videos. But we going to keep covering this shit because this is boxing and we love boxing on this show and on this channel. And we cover... All the boxing. If you only cover a little part of boxing or you only want to hear about one fight all the time, I probably ain't your best resource. But if you love boxing, I'm telling y'all, this shit is on the zone. It's going down Friday night. Thumbnail this shit, man. Put a, put a star next to this fight. This fight, you got Demetrius Andrade on the card. He an exciting fighter. He fighting Jason Quigley. I got him watching Quigley. You got who I just dropped. We just did the MJ Akhmadaliel fight. He an entertaining fighter. That fight going to be fire. I'm calling my shot right now. This fight between Martinez and Arroyo, this shit going to be the fight of the night, bro. This fight might be more entertaining than, than, than Crawford Porter. Yeah, I said it, bro. I said it, and I mean it. Listen, fighting styles, man. McWilliams Arroyo first. He's Puerto Rican. He's a power boxer. Great, great mechanics. Great mechanics. Always in shape. Look very strong. Looks very strong um, for the 112. I don't know how you 112 pounds and you that buff and that muscular. I don't know how you do it. But he looked very strong for the weight. Um, nice power jab. He's a Puerto Rican, so we know the left hook is nice. The right hand behind it is nice. Um, feet. Plants him because he's a power boxer, bro. He plants his feet, looking to looking to really get leverage on his shots. 
And that's at the detriment of his of his defense sometimes, because as a result, his hands don't come back as quick. As a result, his feet aren't as quick. But he can fight, bro. He can fight. He's an orthodox. He's what you would think of. Jab with the right hand behind it. Left hook to the body. He's nice and vicious. Um, just a very good power boxer. He's had a very successful career. Always been a contender level fighter for the for the prime of his career. Somebody that if you go in there half stepping that. He can he can really challenge the top the top fighters down there at 112 pounds and he's proven that bro, he's proven that. Julio Cesar Martinez, the young man out of Mexico, absolute buzzsaw, but not a buzzsaw like you think. His feet ain't slow. He fast. He explosive. And he come forward and he plant his feet. And he square up. He squares up. He shouldn't square up. But, bro, it's something about him. He, His slip game is cold. His lunge in, throwing hook, bro, he's very unorthodox. He's so hard to prepare for, bro. Like, It's like preparing for Navarrete, but it's just different because the way he do the shit, like he just stand right in front of you, slipping shit, trying to counter your shit with uppercuts and hooks and he got a nice power jab, too. Got a nice right hand, bro. He got every punch in the arsenal. Head, body, all of that. Bro, he went in there to UK. He made Eddie Hearn and them sign him, bro. It's a dude named Charlie Edwards. I don't know if y'all know who he is. Charlie Edwards was the WBC champion, bro. Julio Cesar Martinez. Didn't nobody know who he was, bro. Nobody knew who he was. You knew who Charlie Edwards was. He was the big name. Bro, Julio Cesar Martinez proceeded to go in there and beat the dumb shit out of him. He knocked him out, but he punched him while he was down. And so they ruled it a no contest. But the WBC said, yes, yeah, it's a no contest. We ordering an immediate rematch. Y'all know what Charlie Edwards did? He said, screw that shit. He dropped his belt and said, I ain't fighting him. <laughs> I ain't fighting him. I'm dropping my belt. I don't want that smoke no more. And, and Julio Cesar Martinez fought for the bank vacant belt. He's in Canelo's camp. He signed Eddie Hearn. And I'm telling y'all, bro, he can fight. He can fight. Bro, y'all got to watch him fight, man. Y'all got to watch him fight. And I don't want to be setting him up to fail. He's going to get that knocked out because the Royals can fight. The Royo catch your ass down there one two. He can, he can sleep some shit. He got 16 knockouts and his 21 victories. But it's something about this Julio Cesar Martin. It's just... I like fighters that's hard to prepare for, bro, because you can't get sparring to mimic this shit. You don't have dudes just come in front of you and square up on your ass trying to slip your shit and just throwing uppercuts and hooks and shit. You don't have people jumping in on you just throwing hooks out of odd-ass angles and shit that you ain't see coming because they so fast and they so explosive. Like, you know, it's hard to get sparring like him, bro. So he hard to prepare for. McWilliams and Royal, on the other hand, we seen power boxers. We seen... People using that power jab, you know, up top, trying to use down low a little bit to land that straight right, throw that left hook to the Like, all that shit we seen. The uppercuts, the angles, the, the different hooks, and the fact that Julio Cesar Martinez don't stop. Like, you can't prepare for that work rate, bro. You can't. Pass the victory, McWilliams Arroyo, I think he got to land something. He got to land something big. He got to hurt him. And Martinez takes shots. Like, he squared up, and his chin is there to be hit. He just counts on... His warrior mentality, he counts on his chin, and he think he going to hit you harder than you hit him, and he been right in his career so far. But McWilliams Arroyo going to have an opportunity. He going to have some opportunities to, to land it, and his path, he got to hurt Julio Cesar Martinez because I don't think he going to throw as many punches. I don't think he going to land as many punches, so he's going he's gonna to drop rounds. But he got to be competitive in those rounds. He got to make um, Julio Cesar Martinez fill him and maybe catch him with something. Maybe catch him with some change of complexion of the fight and stop him. But he can win this fight. He definitely can win this fight. He got more than a puncher's chance. Because he got skills. I think he's going to land shots. I think he's going to be able to do some things um, to really, really um, make, it, make it difficult for Julio Cesar Martinez. Julio Cesar Martinez, man, look. He got some, he got some slips for your ass, bro. And his slip... Hook game is deadly. Where he slip your shit and come with a hook, bro. That shit, that shit deadly, fam. 
That shit deadly. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all watch this fight, man. I'm trying to tell you, bro. It's going to be a fun-ass fight. Um, but his path to victory, you know, apply the pressure. Arroyo is a good boxer, but he's not nearly as good going off his back foot. Apply the pressure. Get in on him. Use your slip game like you always do. Look to land your uppercuts. Um, look to... Look to... Um, confuse him because he switches a lot too he's another one of these guys that switches so seamlessly like everybody talk about jerron ennis everybody talk about terrence bud crawford but it's some other guys that switch julio Cesar martinez is another one of those guys that'll switch bro and that's what i'm saying like if he slip your shit and throw that right hook he'll just stay there so he won't be out of position he'll be looking to slip your shit again then he'll throw the right hook throw the left hook throw the uppercut go back down to the body like he don't stop he like to energize a bunny in there. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to break it down as best for you so you can get a visual if you've never seen this young man fight so you can understand what I see in him, bro. So I'm picking um, I'm picking McWilliams Arroyo, though. Yeah, I'm picking McWilliams Arroyo, though, bro. I said all that great shit about Julio Cesar Martinez just for me to pick McWilliams Arroyo to get his ass knocked out for the first time in his career. That's what I did. That's what I did. That's why I said all that shit about Martinez so I could pick McWilliams Arroyo to go in there, and for the first time in his career, y'all might be like, damn, knock out, he been there with Chocolatito. I don't care, bro. He's much older now. He's 35 years old. He got a nine-year age disadvantage, and you, like, Chocolatito is great. But this awkward-ass style that Julio Cesar Martinez got, this buzzsaw of a little big dude that just switches stances, Lunges in with hooks, slips your shit because he's so fast with his head movement. Slips your shit and comes with some, 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 pow. Like, bro, I'm picking him knock, to knock McWilliams Arroyo out for the first time in his career. And he got such good power down there at 112. The shit could be early, it could be late. It's hard to call when it could happen because he literally always one punch away, bro. He literally, down at 112, I don't know what he going to be at 115. I don't even know if little ass can even get up to 118. I don't know, bro. But I know down at 112, homie got pop, pop. Lil Martinez got pop, 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 pop. So, I'm going to say he knocks him out. We just going to, I don't know if it's going to be early. I don't know if it's going to be late. I'm going to split it in the middle. About round seven. Round seven stoppage for the young man, Julio Cesar Martinez, winning by knockout. That's my pick. Let me know your pick down in my comment section below. I appreciate everybody watching the video. Y'all smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget about our live show tomorrow, bro. We'll be breaking down and predicting the entire Bud Crawford and Terrence Crawford fight, man, from what they saying, they demeanor, how did the fight even come to happen, how can the fighters win, what are the keys? And then we're going to make our pick live for y'all, man. We're going to have an open panel doing it too, so it's going to be fun. Y'all come through and hang out tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. But I appreciate y'all watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.